Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out some new Essence makeup. It's been quite a while since I've tried out some more Essence makeup. I've been waiting for some new releases and it looks like I found some. So I did go into Priceline yesterday and there were a few products that I haven't seen before. A new foundation, primer, some eyeshadow palettes. I got a new lip product as well. Okay, so I've got them out of the bag. I've got this Essence Million Nude Faces. It's pretty cute, like it's got a bunch of dogs and cats on it. I also did pick up another eyeshadow palette. This one is the Mermaid Eyeshadow Box. So that's what the outside packaging looks like. It's pretty cute. And this is what the inside looks like. So to be honest, looking at this packaging, it does remind me of kind of like kid makeup, but I'm not going to judge it on the packaging today. I'm going to judge it obviously on the quality. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna try this out. I should probably show you the other stuff I did pick up. I picked up the Essence Glow To Go highlighter palette. I also did pick up a Metal Shock eyeshadow. And this one's in the color Solar Explosion. I also picked up this Color Boost liquid lipstick. And the last two things I got were a primer and a foundation. So I've got the Fresh and Fit Awake Primer and I've also got the Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup. So what I'm thinking for this foundation today is I do want to use it, but I want to film a separate first impression and review for it. So you will see me apply it in this video, but I'm going to save my thoughts for the other video. If that video is already up, I'll have it linked up in the eye and down below. And if it isn't, it should be coming very, very soon. And just because I am going to film that review, View video today. I don't know if I will use the primer because I obviously want to give an accurate review on the foundation and how I would normally kind of use it. Okay, so hopefully that all made sense. Obviously, I'm not doing a full face of Essence today because they didn't have like all new products. I just want to try out some of their new stuff, but let's just get straight into it. Hopefully that lighting is okay. I did put fake tan on last night and it looks like I put no fake tan on, like barely anything. Like it is like maybe a shade darker than my skin. Skin, but it's not very dark. So we're just gonna roll with it today. So to prime my eyes today, I'm going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm just trying to kind of use this up at the moment because I forgot about it. The only thing with this paint pot at the moment is it is drying out a little bit. So I might have to put Duraline in it. I'm not sure if that will actually help this. So I usually use that for my eyeliners. As usual, I'm going to use my Maybelline Matte Make Powder. I just want to lightly set this. I'm not going to like set it down too much, just really lightly, just so it doesn't crease. So I think I might start off with this palette. I'm going to take the kind of white in here and I'm going to put it on the brow bone. I'm just switching over to a flat shader brush. So what I'm thinking is I might just dip into that color as my transition. So the shadows are a little bit powdery so far. I haven't obviously used the other shades yet. The powderiness doesn't bother me. As long as it shows up on my eye, then I'm happy. I'm just going to swap over to a Jessup Tapered Blending Brush. Okay, so it's not looking too bad. It has shown up. You do need to build with it a little bit, but it's nothing terrible. The next color I'm going to jump into is the darker brown. I'm going to continue building up the crease color. It's not working out too bad. It is blending out really nicely. Are these the most pigmented eyeshadows I've ever worked with? No, but they're not bad. Honestly, I really think that these shadows are working better than that W7 palette I used in one of my other videos. I think it was the Delicious palette. So far, I think we are going all right. There is a little bit of patchiness on this eye here. I feel like this is always kind of my patchy eye. I don't know, it just kind of has grabbed there and I can't really blend it out like that nicely. Whereas this eye doesn't look as bad. So we're just gonna keep going. So I'm feeling like I wanna use a blue shade and I feel like maybe this blue or this kind of turquoise, I'm not sure what these colors are. I think I might go into this one here. It looks pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to put it on the lid and see what happens. So this is dry. It is falling onto my face. I think maybe I might need to wet my brush because it's kind of just 
falling off and falling onto my under eye. Let's see how this goes wet. Okay, that's already looking better. So that shade wet is gorgeous. It has gone on so nice. It is such a beautiful blue as well. So obviously I would recommend using this shade wet if you are going to put it on the lid. If that is something that annoys you, maybe stay away from this palette. Personally, it doesn't really annoy me using like my shadows wet if I am going to put them on the lid. So like I'm pretty happy. The blue's really beautiful. So I'm going to take a Talia Jade brush. This is kind of like a flat shader, but I don't know, it's kind of a bit fluffy as well. I'm going to try and blend this blue in the crease just so it blends out nicely, but I felt like I needed a denser brush. We'll see how we go. Changing back over to my fluffier brush. So as I'm blending the blue out, I'm also going to take this kind of darker brown here and mix it with that one. Hopefully that will make it a little bit easier. Okay, so I won't lie, I'm having a little bit of trouble kind of blending this out quite nicely. So it's kind of just right here, like I want it to blend out smoother, but I can't really get it to blend out any smoother than what's happening. It probably looks fine in the camera, but I don't know. I'm just very picky. You guys know I'm very picky with my eyeshadow and obviously I just want it to look the best as it can be. This one might be a little bit harder to blend out only because I feel like this side was already a bit patchy. I'm just taking the dark brown shade now to deepen. These shadows do have a lot of fallout so I'd highly recommend doing your eye makeup before you do your foundation otherwise you're going to make a mess. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. I'm not gonna lie, I really struggled blending this out on this eye. This eye I felt like was so much easier. This one just wasn't having it. I do have definitely more texture on this eye just underneath. I feel like this is the eye that gets more eczema. So if you just suffer with like texture on the eye regardless, these shadows are gonna be really difficult to work with. I'm not going to speak too much about the shadow right now. I will give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. I'll put a timestamp here if you're just interested in knowing um, what my thoughts are on the eyeshadow and the quality and everything. But anyway, moving on, I will do liner and lashes off camera. I will come back obviously to use the highlighter palette and the lipstick and everything. You will see me apply the foundation, but I won't be speaking through that part. So I didn't go anywhere because I realized I haven't put the turquoise shade on my eyes. Like I said, I was going to. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm taking the that shade there. My brush is wet by the way. It's not showing up crazy. It's like it goes on really nice when I first put it on and then when I blend it out it just kind of um, disappears. Okay shadow is actually finished now so I'll see you guys in one second. Okay so I'm back from doing my base makeup. So today hasn't really gone as planned. I really wanted to do a review and first impression on that foundation but I have had some visitors come over and then I couldn't really use the sounds because there was people in my house and there was a lot of background noise so I thought I would just use Use my Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation today and unfortunately I will have to film the review tomorrow only because it's getting later in the day now and I really wanted to film this a few hours ago when it was earlier and I could get a really good wear test out of the foundation. Overall though it's not going to make a difference to this video because this video was mainly about the eyeshadow palettes and like the highlighter and lipstick so regardless I'm going to film that review tomorrow and you guys will still see that very very soon. So anyway if you guys want to know what I have used on my face today. I'm going to have everything down below in the description box in terms of like blush, bronzer, foundation, powder, all that kind of stuff. So now I'm going to move on to the Glow to Go highlighter palette. I'm not sure how this is going to go because I am quite fair today. So looking at them, I think these two I can probably get away with. Obviously these two are going to be too dark for my skin tone. But yeah, let's try these out. I'm hoping that they are nice. I think I'm going to mix both of these together. I don't know why this part of my bronzer looks really patchy. 
So I haven't wet the brush or anything. This is the highlighter completely dry. It's also gone on really easily as well. Some highlighters don't stick like straight away, but this one has really gotten on there. I'm also going to put that highlighter on the inner corner as well. And I'll put some on the brow bone. I'm getting it all in my eyelashes. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the lower lash line. I'm going to mix both of these browns here. I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. It's raining really heavily outside. So if you can hear it, I would not be surprised. I'm just going to finish off with mascara. I might put a bit of eyeliner on as well. Okay, so the last thing I've got here is the Essence Color Boost Liquid Lipstick. So I'm not sure if it's going to go with this eye makeup, but we're going to try it out anyway. I think the packaging is pretty cool. Like I like how it looks like a squeezy tube. Okay, so this is very glossy. I don't think this is going to dry down. It doesn't feel like it. It does say on the back, highly pigmented liquid lipstick with a rich vinyl finish. I don't mind it because I've been into the glossier lips lately. Okay guys, so we've finally finished this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the products. Okay, so I guess we will start off with the eyeshadow palettes. These ones are a little bit of a hard one on terms of me recommending them to you guys. So for me, obviously I made the eyeshadow palettes work. I think I got a really nice look out of it, but it did take a little bit of work to get there. In terms of the shimmer shades, I feel like I needed to definitely wet the brush to make them work. So as for the crease, shades I feel like the first two browns actually worked pretty well you still needed to build those up though but when it came to the darker brown I feel like that one needed a bit more work it was definitely patchy and I feel like it made my eyeshadow like really patchy around here I feel like I can't really talk about this palette here because I really only use two shades out of it and I haven't used any of the other ones so if you guys want to see me use these in more videos I'd be happy to okay so I hope I'm going to make sense in this part I had one of my subscribers comment this on on one of my videos once and I laughed. I feel like these palettes are a basic bitch palette. And what I mean by that is like it's good for like a wash of color on the lid but as for like a really intense kind of look that has a lot of structure and blending I feel like the shadows can get muddy when you do it that way. Hopefully that made sense and hopefully made you laugh because that comment that I got on my video it made me laugh. So for me personally using these eyeshadow palettes like I can make them work. I have been doing makeup for many years of my life so I feel like if I really set my mind to it and spend a lot of time finessing eyeshadow I can get it to look quite decent. I think I'm going to leave it at that for my eyeshadow palette review because I feel like I'm just going to ramble and I think you guys understand what I mean. So as for the glow to go palette I think this is really nice. It gives a really beautiful sheen to the skin. It's not like a blinding highlight but it's got a really nice glow as it says on the packaging. It's got a really beautiful glow to it. I feel like it makes my skin look quite healthy. I reckon if you did wet this you could get it to a really beaming highlight but if you guys are after after a beautiful glow, I think this palette would be really beautiful. You got a few colors in here. These ones for probably fairer skin and then these two for deeper skin. I'll probably use these ones as eyeshadows for myself. They look really, really nice. So for the Color Boost Liquid Lipstick, I actually really, really enjoyed this one. I love how it feels on the lips. It is a bit thick but it's not sticky like it feels really nice and moisturizing but has a lot of pigment to it I definitely want to pick up more of these I'm wondering if maybe I should buy all of them and do a lip swatch video because they were so affordable so obviously I still have the primer and foundation I want to try out so I'm going to try those out very soon so those videos could be already up or they might be coming very soon I'm not sure as of yet but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see me use more essence stuff let me know down below give the video a thumbs up. You can come follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, and I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye!